Welcome back to another episode in the Woodshop with Dan. Today I want to go over something I'm working on really cool. This is a special guitar we're making for Eric Peterson of the Mighty Testament. This is a pretty custom guitar. Um, it starts out with a quilt top, cream binding wrapped all the way around, single ply. It's a 12 inch radius fretboard with medium jumbo frets, lock inlays, recessed Floyd Rose. This is going to be equipped with two EMGs, volume tone, volume, toggle switch, see around the back here, on the back here we got a battery compartment, easy access, control cavities, switch cavity, rear Floyd, Eric Pierce has his own custom C-shaped neck, um, this is a three piece maple, Finding here we wrap all the frets, Of course, the heel needs to be shaped right now, and this thing will be finished today. And uh, right now, I'm going to take you over to the sanding area. We have Jeremy that's going to do his normal shaping the heel on this and getting all prepped out. And pretty much, he's ready to take this guitar over. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do when starting to shape the heel is tape off the binding because we're going to be using the oscillating sander first, and we don't want to compromise the binding and have it get any scratches. You know, try not to mess up the shape of the binding at all by using this machine. Okay, so next step after taping off the binding, we're going to take it over to this oscillating sander and blend this the sides in and get the uh, neck and body as close as possible so we can start the blocking process. Okay, so after we've blocked the side and got everything nice and flush, we're gonna go ahead and use a template to draw the lines to take it back to the oscillating sander. And most of our guitars, each model has a different heel, so we have different templates. So for this particular one, I'm gonna go ahead and draw it out, and then we'll take it back to the sander. So after we get our line marked on the heel, we're gonna take it back over to the spindle sander where we're gonna use that to take off the majority of the meat, and then we'll take it back to the table and get it clamped up and start doing some filing. So after we've got it all clamped down and finished the filing process, we got most of the meat off, we'll take it back to the bench over here and use a variety of different blocks and different grades of sandpaper to finish it out by hand. Thanks for coming back for this uh, episode. And also, please like, comment, and tell us what you want to see in the next videos. And uh, try to get it on for you. Thanks.